Let's continue from where we left off in the previous lesson. Create a sphere and reduce the subdivision height and axis to 12. Extract the bottom faces of the sphere and delete the history and hide it. Now create a cube and move it above the sphere. Switch to your top view and type 0.3 in scale Z. Duplicate the cube and rotate it 90 degrees. Insert two edge loop in one of the cube as shown. Turn on X-ray mode and start aligning the following vertices with the cube. Once finished, select the two vertices as shown and merge them. Do the same with all the four sides and align it with the cube. Also, align the middle vertices to correct the topology. When finished, delete those cubes and also delete the following four edges. Now, select all the following four faces and extrude them in Z axis as shown. Now select all the top edges and apply a bevel to it. Reduce the friction and increase the segments to 2. Now select your mesh and go to Deform Nonlinear Squash. Play with the factor until you're happy with the results and move the squash handle down in Y axis. Once you're happy with the shape, delete the history. Unhide the threads and move the screw cap on top of it. If you find the cap small, select the geometry and scale it in X and Z axis. Now select the edge loop and start extruding it a few times to give it a shape of a screw head. Once finished, combine both meshes and bridge them. Remember to turn on edge flow option in the tool settings. Insert more edge loops to give it a shape. To increase the size of the head, select all the above faces and scale them in X and Z axis. Now unhide the other half of the sphere and move it down. Switch to your bottom view and scale in X and Z axis until it's aligned with the thread. Combine both meshes and bridge them. Now select every other edge from bottom and delete them. Now select your mesh and go to Deform Nonlinear Flare. Type 0 in Start X and Y and also in High Bound. Reduce the low bound to around minus 0.3 and move the flare handle down until you are happy with the result. Once finished, delete the history. Thanks for watching.